and uh, my name is Yari Lee Wan, and uh, I'm the potter, and uh, I am a painter, uh, drawing, and sculpture too. That uh, my whole life I love a fine art school, and uh, my special skill is the ceramic stuff. And you can see all of this, and we make here, and then my studio at low. Yeah. I have a wood burning kiln. All of this is firing from the wood burning kiln. Yeah, the, my wood burning kiln is a smokeless kiln. We fire wood, but there is no smoke at all. They very, very good kiln. They create the heat more than 2,000, like 2,345 Fahrenheit for the finish all this product. It's an artwork and all the different because of the, the artwork is a unit, is just one only, not that the second one is not the same thing. They have a, a lot of different style, but they still on the Cambodia traditional style. The Cambodia, they're making a pottery since the ninth century and uh, the Cambodia lost this skill since like the end 13th century because of the, my country from the third, 13th century, a lot of war from the neighborhood country. They're fighting a lot and everybody lose all the skill. And uh, the ceramic skill, why I love that because they, nobody want to learn, nobody want to learn the ceramic skill anymore because it is very, very hard work to learn it. We spend a lot of time, make a mess all the time, make a mess everywhere, everybody, and they don't like it. And they're hard to make money. The artwork is not, if you dream for make the money, it's not the artwork. The artwork I make all of my artwork for why I made that because of the, we love it. We want to create something for so for share, love it to the to the people. And uh, ceramic skill very important to me because they I think the light of ceramic the same a light human. They have four elements, the same thing. They have earth, earth and clay. The clay bring from earth, and they need air, they need water, they need heat. And one more thing is space, before they come to the ceramic, look like that. Look like the human, human we have, uh, they from the earth, from the heat, from air, from the water, the same thing. That, I really love that. But, the clay, the the same the human life, but have no no brain. But I have to bring my my idea from my brain, my idea, my mind, put on that everything. Because I, when I work on that, I very very close to my artwork. I hold that. I don't care about my body, made a mess or everything. But the, my thing when I work on that, I focus how when they finish that, they become to a beautiful piece. That's the thing I need. That. The artists, they never think about how much money they spend on that and how much time we spend on that. You know, we never think about that. Yeah, but uh, right now i happy because of the, I have uh, time for teaching people. I'm teaching at the Middlesex College right now, and some the school, some high school at around the low. I'm very happy for share everyone. And uh, sometime I have a workshop, you can join it at the low, we have a national park. I workshop with the national park two times per year. 
one one uh, the summer time and one more workshop on the September and everybody can sign up for the workshop if you want or sign up for class at the middle side college if you want. But next semester I will be teaching at the uh, UMass Low too. And yeah we can keep keep busy. Keep busy. Because uh, we make artwork when the time make our work, everybody will get more peaceful. That's the best time I sit down and work with uh, my artwork. That's a very good time. More meditation, more meditation, more energy. I can sit on a wheel for throwing apart, like whole day, whole night. Yeah, I get more energy because of the, everything they concentrate in my mind. When they have nothing to do, just sleep on the bed or sit down and watch TV, my brain is not just have to run, run away. That they keep the mind and not run away, they're working hard work. They're very good. Or some people love to read the book, find out how to control the mind different way, but in my way is uh, making our work. Very, very beautiful. The making our work make me mind, my mind fresh all the time. I have no time for sit down and boring. <laughs> you know, my life is not because, because I'm not enough time to finish my artwork. I have not enough time I have no time for sit down and boring and drink a beer. I have no time that. I want to, but I, I can't <laughs> because of the, my light too short right now. The sun looks like the sun almost sunset right now. My life, I said about that, but I still, I still, because of the, I think I'm not enough time for finish a lot of the thing I want. The plan had to do that, but I think I, I'm not enough time right now. But I would like. All of you young, keep go to school, keep more learning, to do something good. It, everything, you know, that away from trouble, that's it. All right. And, uh, and when the, I thank you for the Bangi Hill School, give me a chance for bring all my pistol here. For, uh, and share with uh, everybody you can see all my work that thank you so much and uh, thank you everybody come to listen how I speak get about my artwork and my life and uh, and I'm sorry because I'm very poor English sometimes I talking you not understand I hard to understand I'm sorry about that uh, <laughs> yeah, er, earlier, actually, no, we actually understand everything at this point. Ah, but, yeah. uh, but you, we, I interrupted. Uh, there was a question from one of our students, right, earlier, uh, about uh, you have three images of the Buddha, mm -hmm. and as you're talking about meditation and and doing pottery, you know, throwing, you know, pot, uh, yeah. clay. Um, they wanted to know more why the Buddha is. Uh, you have three words that you know stands out with the, the images of the Buddha. Yeah, and who that girl? Yeah, uh, you want to understand about Buddha? I'm a Buddhism, but I'm not deep to the religion too much. But that that the Buddha is a culture. I rap I respect. Look like the culture. Look like everybody. Uh, celebrate with the Christmas or uh, go to church, but sometimes you not understand how deep uh, the Christ, uh, the, uh, the Bible, a lot of things, a lot of talking about Buddha. The Buddha, the Cambodia, the Buddha, the Cambodia, they respect the Buddha, keep the Buddha look like the teacher, the best teacher. Because a Buddha not not a god, but Buddha is a real person, and he have a knowledge for 
for understand everything about our life. And he have like 804,000 words for teach everybody. But I am a, I am a Buddhism, I'm not, if you more understand about Buddha, you have to become to the Buddhism school and learn more, learn about the, how to the, learn, read the, the book, the writing about the word of Buddha, like the idea 800, more than 800,000, 800,000 the word they teach people. That's too much, but I have to understand some of Buddha word, just a little bit, very shortcut. The Buddha say, if you doing good, you will get good back. You understand that? Yes. And, and uh, if you plant a poison tree, you will get a fruit poison. If you plan a good tree, you will get a good, uh, the, a good fruit. The same thing, if you do something is not good, you will get back nothing, that they bad, bad thing back. You understand that? If you, if you kill the people, that you will trouble you will go to the jail, you know, that's a bad idea. If you try to teach the people and train the people the good thing, you will, you will like back the very good life and you feel really good, you know. If you, if you, if you hit somebody, you hit somebody, you feel like, like, yeah, you like, when you back home, you feel it's not good all the time. You still remember the yeah, yeah, inside. Uh, nobody know, but you will feel the guilty all the time, the whole life. That, that is the sort of thing that the Buddha, they, they teach the people. But this is just one word in the 4,000, or the 8,000 word, you know. But you are doing good, you will get good. You doing bad, you get bad. That this one, that I just tell you like this. I'm not a deep of that, but I have to think about if you think something good, you want to continue, you have to continue. Don't stop it, to doing something good. If you feel that, oh, I do this thing, it's not good, if you have time to stop it, you stop that, it's good. That thing. Still, no. still, still on the, the Buddha images that you have, can you tell us what it is made of? This one? Yeah, the, you have three, three different yeah, Buddha images. This, this three different? Yeah. This one is not, is not, uh, is not the Buddha. It's a king. He's, he's brought the Buddhism from India, from Nepal, go through to my country the first time, like 12th century that he's brought the, the Buddhism go to, to my country because of my country before him <laughs> is the Hindu. But the Hindu make the people very strong and fighting a lot. But they die a lot. They, a lot of people like the, the kid have no father, the wife have no husband. They lose all the resource, the people, the strong people for produce the right or something like that or create the country. He's, we'll, he wants to stop, to bring all the people down, to stop fighting together. And uh, he just brought the, uh, brought the Buddhism to, to go to my country for bring all the people meditation, come down, <laughs> don't fight no fighting together anymore, you know. But uh, some, uh, they, that, that still right now, the Cambodians still represent the Hindu and uh, Hindu and Buddhism together. But the people, they're still fighting today. You know? They're still fighting. Because they, because they, 
a lot of people they say they 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 say that I am Buddhist, but they never follow the Buddhism. They do very bad thing right now. You see that all the painting here. They made a, this one a real situation in the big country. This man painting. I came to the United States the first time. I made. I I came here 2001. This one I paint on 2002. You see this one that represent the culture, the Cambodia and very beautiful country. The before. But all they did die and pass that. But right now, see, all the people, they have the power. When they have the gun, have the power, they destroy all the culture. And uh, the people go to the war, become to handicapped. But they don't care that. They have some food and they give to the dog, but not give to the, the people. They, they, they create the war and become to handicapped. They don't care that. That one. And this one, they represent, you see this one? This hat, this is the picture of king, this one. You see? His mouth and nose. And they, they represent the culture. They, this one represent the law. They create the law, but they sit on the law. That's one. You see that? And they destroy, they, they destroy the, the, the culture they bring they they brought them to sell to to another country. They they, they the sculpture, the traditional sculpture from sandstone from the Angkor Temple from like the 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 ninth century or tenth century. They create a beautiful country. They destroy and they bring to sell that for antique. The sculpture, this one, they get out from my country. You see, this one is the the red one. It's a map of country. The, the, the Cambodia country is a map, but why I paint the raid? They kill the own, the own people. They kill the own people. If they bring the blood, everybody die and pain. They will pain the whole country. The blood become to all blood. If they bring the blood, the people they kill, they pain all that, and. You see this mouth, they have the mouth, but they have the wire, the cross of that. We have the mouth, but we can't talk at all. We talk about politics, talk about the government, they kill you. And they bring you to the jail. That one, no speak, and you have eye, just watching. But you have to close one eye, open one eye, just cry only, this is here. Right? And they make me, everybody get hurt. They cut the wood, a lot of beautiful forest, a lot of beautiful animal in the forest. But right now, they cut all that for the money. And, uh, and all of this one, see all the, the people, they try run out from a country right now. And some look like me, I'm at the United States. And another, everywhere the Cambodia living it, but like 40 years ago, we never think about out from a country. We love the country, but the government they make hurt everybody run out. They, they, they someone they say, oh, they some lake they have the cold water. The fish love to living that if. The water get harder, the fish try to run out from that area. See, there's all the people that run out. And this one, the hand that paint the United States flag, represent the United States. And this one look like the, all the Ripchuchi, Cambodia Ripchuchi. When we came here, look like a baby. And the uh, support from the government, the United States, and uh, we learn everything. Look, I came here, I learned how to speak, I learned how to go to Dunkin' Donut, <laughs> I learned how to go to the post office, I learned how to change the test food, I learned how to go to post office, I learned how to driving, I le start learn. The, look like a baby, we start learn everything from the beginning. That the rubs and look like a baby. 
but the support from the United States gives you education, gives you change to go to school, and gives you a job and support you, depend on you, work hard or not. And then this one, all of this, I hope this guy of future, they will help back to my country. This is one, a lot of people help me, help me. They need uh, freedom, they need food, they need education, they need school, they need a good teacher, they need justice, they need human rights, but the Cambodia, they kill all that right now. That very, very sad painting. Uh, and in our literature class, we talked about, we continue to talk about how literature captures experiences so that they're not forgotten. Um, in terms of your artwork, it seems like your artwork is both artifact that it represents the culture, but also at the same time it's process. Yes. And you mentioned how difficult it is to find an apprentice of folks that can carry on the tradition. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a generational thing or do you think it's more of a, because you had to assimilate to a different culture and finding the tradition didn't necessarily move over to that particular new culture. Because we talk about how crossing over or belonging to a new environment mm -hmm. changes how people perceive the previous culture. Do you think it's a generational thing that you're not finding as many folks interested in picking up the process or is just simply American culture affecting how folks connect to Cambodia? And uh, about that a lot of people asking me, uh, you have apprentice or my son or my daughter, they can I transfer to that. I still think about that. Very, very hard to think that. I have some, a lot of grant from the Massachusetts Cultural Center. I have some grant for apprentice. But I have one apprentice they're very better. He uh, architecture, Cambodia architecture. But um, the next one, he dropped them out and fell because they, the first thing, they love to learn that. But after that, I don't know. They quit that. I will fail about the, this project. But I still have a plan for the teach people. I want to say, Right now, I have like five, five people learn from me from a, a ceramic skill. But I hard to teaching about exact the, the traditional design, the Cambodia traditional or Motis Cambodia, they hard to teach them. I find out the Cambodia, but nobody want to want to learn because of the young generation right now, the Cambodia and my country are here, when the parent, they push, they want the, the kid go to some of skill for the more better than artists. You can know that they, they, at my country, they, I go to the study abroad, I go to visit American, uh, the university, American at Cambodia. They have a, they have a lot of students, a lot, a lot of students. They sign up for just a business and accounting only in the university, like 80 person. Yes, the, the student, everyone, they, they think just a business or accounting is easy to make money. But this is not different from here. The student, they can pick all the, all the major different, you know, the engineering or doctor or something, or artist or, or every, everything, or plumber or electrician, a lot of skill become to the, the the country more more better. You have a, a lot of skill together, not just 
not just uh, business and accounting only. That's good if you get that, but all of that is the businessman. How to find out the job because of the hundred person is a business, a small country and poor country. Nobody wants the engineering, nobody don't need the, the wood skill or metal skill or engineering a machine or something like that or uh, just uh, maybe because of the, my country they push the kid go to skill and the government right now they train the people the thing about money only not not anything else and right now everybody where they have money, everybody go, go that point. Kill the people for the money, cheat the people for the money, or corruption, or others for the money, all that. They become too zombie. <laughs> Out from the money, they don't care. They care about the money. The money is 100, they will kill the people. You have 100, I want to kill that one. Give the hundred, they kill for you. It's a very, very bad, very bad situation. I worry about my country a lot and confused with my country. Why they do that? Why they do that? I not <coughs> understand. And yeah, and this country, I very happy. Everybody have chance. The young people have to collect and the good school look like here. I'm very proud of you, you know, yeah. Uh, do you sell your art, and if you sell them, you sell them only in the United States or in your country? They sell my artwork? Yes, your art, like when you make something and it's really beautiful. Yes, I want to tell that. And my country not appreciate about art at all. Really? Yes. How come you are a historic person? Because of the poor country, artistic can live with the poor country. You have rice, you have no food, you have no roof. Yeah. How to buy artwork put in a home? You understand that? But this country is much better because a lot of people are rich people. Some people are rich, very rich, and we buy artwork. They don't care about how much money on the piece, they love it. They love it, they buy how much money. But in my country, but I very surprised that when I came here, I sold one piece, like 2,500 bucks, the same size as this. At 2,000, more than 2,000, I very, I, wow, that's, that's my price? That, the time I, I, I understand about my value uh, of artwork. Before I, my country, I just make it, I just learn it because I love it. I never think about, I make money from that. You understand that? And, uh, and this country, and when they buy that, two weeks later, they send me a letter, thank you, me too. That really surprised it, and my country never that. They buy from you and buy that, never thanks you to the people. And my country hard to say thank you. The word thanks you hard to say that. And sorry and thanks you hard to say that. But this country or another country, I walk around the world, I say, everybody say, thank you, sorry, thank you, sorry, every time. But my country, never hard to say thank you and sorry. That we, I don't know why. Still under why. And I'm still survivor. I said, why? But some people die, why I die? Sometimes, I, I do, I, I do nothing. I'm not do anything. Why they kill me? You see that? Ah, very tough. Uh, it looks like life is a circle. Life is a circle. 
then my own light too. Sometimes my light go to the down and some a little bit up, high and circle like this. My country like thousand, thousand years ago, very high. But right now they turn around here. But when they Cambodia, very high, they have no America yet. We not recognize the, the, the United States yet. But right now, the United States up, then my country down. Yeah, that, that, that light of circle. Nothing forever. <coughs> Nothing forever. It's gone, the view's gone. But I think the artwork, I'm making artwork, my artwork is still, is still a long time than me. Yeah. Like, I'm at least 10 or 20 more years, I will be gone, but my artwork is still stay. I, I really, I will really appreciate that. That's the thing, I want to make something good for everybody spread all that. I under here have my name and yeah, at least everybody remember. Oh, this uh, Mr. Yari make it. And this one is part of history, especially uh, that painting this there. It's part of history and it's reality, not only for you, but and some more class. We mm. can like live on that one or we can understand it and it's attached on us. Yeah, because it is, I made this one for be hard to tell everybody. I cannot talk, explain everybody. I have to bring from my idea. I put on it first. I have some time, and so look like you. I describe a little bit, but I still love my country. My country, very very good country. But the government make hurt the people. I hate the government. I'm not hate my country. Yeah, three, three years ago, I went there three times for bring the students study abroad there. Everybody very, very happy to see all the beautiful artwork there, a lot of beautiful country. But a little bit crazy with the traffic or something <laughs> The people, they die on the road every day, a lot of people. They no respect traffic. Everything, uh, hard to say that. I don't want to. Um, you, talk, you talk about your journey coming here and how you had to learn everything all over. Mm -hmm. um, and, and with your paintings, too, I think you display a little bit of your journey and, and your culture. And a lot of culture, you kind of paint a picture of your I'm sorry, I'm not really, uh, uh, who you say about that. If uh, you always wanted to do ceramic mm -hmm. art, okay. you were born and you knew that this is what I want to do, or if there was anything else that you might want to do besides this. Besides this, that I wanted to do. And that's all the whole my life. I made a painting, I made all artwork, or the cast of bronze, everything that I work on that. But I want to, it's so important to me today, I want to uh, transfer my knowledge from my skill to the another one, a young generation. I still looking for, but right now I plan to uh, create a workshop across the country, everybody can sign that for more transfer, find out the people really, really love to making artworks, especially on the Cambodia people. Because uh, I want to transfer to, because uh, they, not many people, the Cambodia they make the ceramic anymore right now. They have just two people only. They still have the, the full skill 
for can share to the people, can train the people, can teach the people. They have two people. One people is me here, but I don't know. I'm sorry about that, just me. But sometimes I never hear some people, they know how to make a Khmer ceramic, a Cambodian ceramic. And I never heard that. I, but I want to transfer to that, to the young generation, but I hard to find out a Cambodian apprentice. But I have American five students right now. They know how to make a ceramic, most the same, the same my style, but not exact the same. Because it is hard to, to transfer from the, from the culture to another culture. So but they, I, so out from the making artwork, I have to plan to making a book. Right now, I had the plan making a book for, yeah. So you are trying to find a Cambodia person to teach the whole skills. You want like to transfer that one more to Cambodia to um, another generation, like American or another mm -hmm. country, right? Yeah, I wonder before I can back to my country. I cannot back that. Yeah. I wonder looking the. The, the Cambodia, young generation Cambodia here. I want to transfer here. Or when I get a retire or have immunity, but the Cambodia, my country, they're back to better than right now. I have to plan back to my country. I train the people, but not train making a potter. I train the people in the mind for the create, not the copy. Because a lot of people, they know how to make it, the pottery right now. But it's not artist design. They create it look like, they train the people how to make a bowl. The whole life just to make a bowl, 100 bowl, 1,000 bowl, no create at all. You know? Just to make a plain people make a mass product. Not to train people to create a unit artwork. They hard to hard to train that, I know. Hi. Uh. Um, first of all, I want to thank you for sharing your artwork with us today. It's very beautiful. Um, so my question is, um, actually, like a lot of this work, it seems like I've seen it in the Antique Roadshow. So you're right about what you said. Within, you know, the next 20 years or so, this stuff will be antique. And, um, you know, we're down in history. But my question to you is, do you have a particular item that is um, very, like, uh, that you are attached to that you wouldn't get rid of? And if so, why is it significant? Uh, what makes you attached to that piece? Oh, oh, do you have a certain artwork that you just would not share or get rid of? Uh, favorite artwork, right. Share? And there was sell and one sell. Uh, this one not for sale. <laughs> yeah, because it's not for sale. Because of the inside there, I have a real stone put in. You see the, the, the red, red dot here? It's a real gemstone I put on here. But they right now, because they, my country, they destroy all the real stone. They sell the land to the another country. They, 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 they take all the, all the, all the stone from my country. Before the traditional, they use the hand for dig the land to find out the stone. But right now they have the big, big vacuum. They, the vacuum or that, you know, that destroy all that right now. That's the thing. I want to keep some stone for my own to put on here. As it's small, small, tiny, it's not value at all. But right now, we can't find out. Because the rich people there, they corruption, a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They buy all the stone. And when they build a building, their own house, they put in the, in the foundation for lucky. 
and put on the ground. That is, uh, but I want to make artwork from that. I have no money to buy anymore right now. So how do you store all these items? That all the design? All, how do you store them? Do you have like a... Yes. I have, uh, I have... I have the studio at low, and uh, I every every first Saturday we open we open studio every first Saturday, and next month we first Saturday and the mid Saturday they will open for the holiday season, and uh, some gallery they contact me to bring put in the gallery, you know. Uh, yeah. But I'm a bis uh, I'm a, I'm a pottery. I'm a pottery. I just create. You know, I I I just uh, the focus on create. But I have no skill for marketing. I hope someday marketing they will cooperate with my other for spread my my piece of art. Yeah. <laughs> Take care of that. Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you are one of the three survivors. Yes. How did you survive? How to survive? From my artwork too. That gave me a survive from the Khmer Rouge. Yeah. The Khmer Rouge, they kill all education. Who have an education from the elementary school, they kill all that. If they know that, if you keep that, you hide that in your mind, don't tell everybody, and just work hard and feel that you will survive it. But I am, when I work at the Khmer Rouge, you, you, everybody knows about the Khmer Rouge, the communist regime that come through to my country, like since 1975 to the 1980, a five year they kill that the regime they kill the own people like more than two million. You have to read in the you have the book a lot of book about the 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 the, the Khmer Rouge genocide or something like that. They talk about the Khmer Rouge come in the control to my country. They kill all that high education. All the, uh, all the you have the skill, look like the doctor or teacher or something that you kill all that. And what happens if a person is sick? Who gonna? What are they gonna do? Because uh, they, uh, the communists, they kill all high education, because or high education or not the high education, all they have uh, education just yes, read, uh, like third grade. Uh, something like that, they you know that, they kill that. Because they, who have, who have education, good education, hard to control that. They keep, they know body, they tell, you go to left, go to left. Go to right, you go to right. No complain that. And we work hard. We work hard, a little food every day. And my left, the same side as when I, that time, no food. But work hard. But I'm survived so because um, my mom, she as a tailor, she designed the clothes for them. She living a little bit good food, but she think about me. We work in the field, have no food. But my mom, she tell the Khmer Rouge, the communist, the communist, the Khmer Rouge. I'm, I'm a supporter. I know how to build a kiln. They say, oh, that guy, they know how to build a kiln. I need the people build a kiln for, produce some, the tile roof. I, I know how to build that. I build for them. I survive that. Because I know how to build that one. They need that. The special, but, I'm lucky they, when they, I finish that, the kiln, and uh, this regime, they fell down. 
they fell. And uh, another government that come up to control the country, I survived that. If I finish that, I train them how to make it. After that, they will kill me too. But I'm lucky because they, I finished the build that, and that regime, they fell. And another government, they pop them, the, the government every day. But they're still communist. But everybody, not a kill people direct. They kill by, but still, uh, I hard to say about politics anymore. Make me hear a cab. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. So why are you here and what you do? How can you come here? Why I come here? Yeah. Because they because they have a trouble with the government when I at my country I work for the another party look like they they move democracy party but they don't like it you know they don't like it they they looking the way catching me put in the jail or killing me that time I had to run out from a country and uh, that time I that time I came here for a political asylum how you get here by plane by ship? yeah by plane because I get a visa from embassy, from American embassy for come to visit the United States. When I came here, I applied for political asylum. And from the 2001 and 2002, I granted from the, from the immigration. It was easy or not? What? It was easy or? And, and it's, not, it's not easy, you know. As you know, the why I, I, I say right here, <laughs> because I came here, I apply, I want to bring all of my family here. If I not, if I, I uh, go to immigration and not get from granted, I will return to my country and my life, uh, I don't know. But, uh, but I'm lucky that I granted, I, all my family come, but before they, I pass the test with the immigration. I wish to the Buddha, please help me. I pass it. When I pass it, I will save my hair. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. When they, I came here, when I pass it, I save my hair like almost 18 years right now. From 2001 to 2018, like last 17 years. That I promise. Why you say you're here? What exactly give us indicate that time that you say you're here? Yeah, but because we have to, when you say something, we have to do that. Some people, oh, and and please give me um, a win ticket, all right? You will give some thing to somebody else, something like that, you promise look like that. When you get it, you forgot it. It's not nice. Because I'm with, I want to save my hair if I get the granted. When I get the granted, I have to save my hair out. I don't need the hair anymore. That is all. We have to respect the word I have to respect the word I say that I had to uh, the word I say for promise something I have to follow that. I have a question for you. Yes. So, in regards to the awards that you have won, like I see that you were, um, I think Harvard University gave you an award. Uh huh. Okay, and then you got a few other ones from like those corner area and places like that. How did you get those awards? Like, did you, what did you have to do to be? Award from the fellowship, the, the artist fellowship 2015 from NDA, right? Yes, I see that one. Yes. Mm -hmm. I see that and all right, I want to tell you why 
the, uh, I get the big award, the owner, the big owner, the high owner from the, from the NEA. That's a very, very big award for the, because when I came here, I almost the time I share with the student. I start, I start work with the kid. I start teaching everywhere, and I spend some time for help community. And it uh, look like uh, I teaching at the Harvard. I teaching at the Museum of Fine Art School for the uh, for the student after school. They go to the around the Boston. They go to the the the, the Fine Art School for for train artwork because they have the grant for bring all the kids away from the travel from the gang people, from the, from the Dorchester, and come together like 100 students. They come making artwork. That time I get an award from the, they call the Teller Award. They get from the uh, First Lady Booth. We get one more award from that. And, uh, and from that, all the, Everybody can, the community, they keep the eye on me, how uh, activity, when I say something, I have to do that. And especially I love, I'm not a best artist than everybody, but I have to share with the people how much I have it. You know, that I have worked hard and spend a lot of time. I never think about that sometimes they, they not pay, I had to do that too. Not just pay, I do that. Without pay, I still do that for finish a project. And they keep that look like this and go to the teaching at the charter school, at the low, teaching the primary school. And then, yeah, always I work with the, say, with the people, say, the teaching the young kids. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.